What is going on, everybody? I want to talk to you about my high yield account. Uh, some of the positions we hold, the percentage that they are my account, uh, my average cost, what these funds are trading at. If I'm up or down, let's get into it. This is Mike, the tactical stock scalper. All right, all right, baby. Well, before I begin, our largest holding. And it's not in this account. It's in our safer account, I guess you could call it, is SVOL. SVOL is our largest holding by far in any of our dividend accounts. Our current average price on SVOL is at 21.62. SVOL is currently trading at 21.38. So we are down on SVOL, but believe it or not, that is the fund. Out of all of the high yield funds or whatever that I am the least concerned about, even though we're currently down in it. So there's that. All right. So with the high yield account, let's start here. Navidi is our largest holding in our account. It represents 30% of our account is in Navidi. And our average cost is $26.81. NVIDIA is currently trading at 26.23. So we are down 60 cents roughly per share. But you know what? We've held this thing now going on eight months. So when you add up all the dividends, we are up seven times the amount that we are down in share price. Now, that's attributed, of course, to NVIDIA continuing to rip. Navidi going with it and the market ripping. So it's just been incredible. And uh, Navidi way, way up on that thing. I mean, it's going to take some monumental. I mean, seven times this thing is going to have to drop significantly, really hard, really fast for us to even break even on it, which maybe in the future it will as the market Navidia continues to rip. You know, it's going to drop at some point. So there's that. Our next biggest holding, YMAG at 28%. So between the Viddy and YMAG, that is 58% of our high yield account. My average cost on YMAG is 1908. This bad boy is currently trading at 1910. So we are just a smidge under the trading price. So we're up a tad in share price, but with all the dividends we've collected, uh, through holding it, you know, we're way up on YMAG as well. Now, YMAG is currently, at least for the last three weeks, since all the weekly pairs have come out, been the best weekly pair by total returns. It's beating any of the Round Hill funds. It's beating any of the Defiance funds. And it's beating YMAX, which we used to hold YMAX like three-ish months ago. And uh, we sold out of that for a loss. We are down on share price. We are down in dividends on YMAX. And it kept getting, I didn't like the way it was being ran. It looked like more funds were coming into it. And so even if something moved, it's going to be diluted. I, I didn't want anything to do with it anymore. So we sold it and moved all of that money to YMAG. And that was a been a pretty good move on our end so far. So... Yeah, up on share price on YMAG, buy a hair. And up, of course, with all the dividends we've received from YMAG. Next, 21% of our account is in IWMY. So YMAG has been the best performer in total returns for weekly payers. IWMY has been the worst, right? So I got the best and the worst right here. They're definitely, uh, Round Hills Fund has been outperforming RDTE IWMY. It's been outperforming it. So if you're looking for a better option to get you some Russell exposure and be paid weekly, looks like right now RDTE is better than IWMY. But I digress. We quit putting our money uh, out of pocket into IWMY some time ago. So all we're doing now is reinvesting the dividends and trying to get this thing paid off. When it was paying off um, a big dividend, it looked like maybe February, March, uh, we we're gonna get the whole investment paid off. But since Defiance has switched strategies, 
They're paying a lot less on their dividends, trying to compete with Round Hill. Now we're looking like maybe April, May, June, until this thing is completely paid off. But my share price on IWMY is at $38.70. It's currently trading at $33.41. We are down $5 in share price. But the saving grace for this old thing is that uh, I've held it since inception and the dividends have outpaced the share price decline by a tad, boys, by a tad. So we're barely up on IWMY. Like I said, RTD is a better option so far in total returns. Next up, AMZY represents 10% of our account. This thing way back when used to represent way more than 10%, but we sold off a huge chunk of it um, as Amazon was ripping. And uh, we were lucky enough, the timing was good, whatever, sold it a whole bunch of AMZ for profit. So if you include those profits, plus the dividends we've received, we are well ahead on AMZ. But again, it only represents currently, right now, 10% of our account. My average price on AMZ currently is at 2042. It is trading at 1877. I do plan possibly to add more into AMZ, maybe from a NVIDIA dividend or something like that. Um, possibly we'll have to see how earnings go and how the market, you know, with the market continuing to rip, it does make me a little nervous to add more to this, but we will see as time goes on. Uh, what I do with the AMZ, but yeah, it's only 10% of our account currently. Now, my last position in my high yield account is SQY. It represents 3% of our account. Um, that means there's some cash left over. We'll talk about that here in a second. SQY represents 3% of our account. Now, this fund is unique for us, is the fact that we only put profits into it, whether it be from trading or if something is above our cost basis and those dividends come in, whatever, right? That's only way SQI is funded. It is not funded out of pocket. So there's that. So I consider all the dividends free because they're made from profits. But again, it only represents 3% of our account. Okay, SQI is actually down in dividends and share price. Our current price on SQY is 1885. This thing is currently trading at 1771. So we are down on SQY, um, barely up in IWMY, but ahead on AMZ, ahead on YMAG, and ahead on Navidi. So, so far, pretty good in the account, I would say, um, for the last, year I've been holding this thing or however long. Now, the market has gone up for a year, boys, over a year. You know it's going to come back down. What will our accounts look like then? Who knows? But I'd love to hear about your account, what you got going on. Are you happy with Navidi? Do you own it? Are you way up on it like myself? What do you think about YMAG? Are you way up on that as well? Um, now, we have 8% cash. I would like that cash to be a minimum of 10%, especially as the market keeps ripping, I would like to build some cash into this account, but we'll see. Now I will go over at some point our safer account that we have SVOL into, and we can talk more into that, but there's really not much to say about that one because SVOL is by and large a huge position. It's like 90% of that account currently of positions is an SVOL. The majority of that money is still sitting in cash, waiting on some kind of corrective measure in the market. I'm not comfortable buying funds like JEPQ, FEPI, iSPY or SPY-I, whichever one we decide, as the market keeps ripping. I got time, right? So I'm just sitting there collecting some interest on the money sitting there. It ain't making much, but it's sitting there waiting on some kind of corrective measure. I know everyone does different things with their cash, whatever. 
I'm just not comfortable buying up here at these levels as the market continues to rip. I can wait till after the election, see what happens, whatever, right? I got time, I'm patient, it's fine. I hope you enjoyed the content. This is Mike, the Tactical Stock Scalper, out.